Welcome to this VISI 2016 R1 Enhancement Demonstration. This will cover the changes regarding mould and progress standard elements. I'll start by looking at the added functionality when inserting a new element. For this example I'm going to use the Progress Element Library. So if I come to the interface, just select a screw, you can see we have three new icons. Set, Reset Values, which if I look at the Fizzy 21 interface used to be called Apply Defaults. So if I phase back now to the 2016 interface, other options are Remember Settings and also Load Saved Settings. Now let's focus on the 3D environment and the added benefits these new buttons bring to the user. Now the first element that is inserted after the interface has been opened is always going to be the smallest available from the user database. As you can see here, 3 millimeter diameter screw. So if we change this to, to 12, change the length to say 45, and also turn on the draw hexagon setting, I want to remember this because I'm going to use this feature again and again. So I'm going to remember the settings and accept the screw. So now if I close the interface, select the same element again, start and end elements, position, you can see because I've restarted the interface, it's again selected the smallest element. But if I now use the load saved settings option, you'll see it'll update the interface with the settings saved when I last used the remember settings option. So finally I'm going to add another element. I'm going to change the size, the diameter to 16. And this time I'm going to make some more adjustments within the rules area. So I'm going to make the spot uh, facing length to zero, put the hexagon in. And also anything that's highlighted as blue that's been changed, if I now use the set reset values changes it back to its default value apart from values within the general area so the diameter and the body length in this case they stay at the set value now we'll move on to the enhancements that we've made to the element configuration environment so i start by opening the interface the layout of the interface has been updated as you can see so if we start by selecting progress elements we stick a single letter within the supplier name, so M, and do a search, it finds all the suppliers starting with that single letter. So I'm going to select Mizumi, and here are all the elements within the Mizumi database. So if I select one, now on the right I displayed all the variables that I can modify. You can see there's a table and rule databases here which control all the size and clearance values. And if I click on the button with the three dots on, here are all the size values within those databases and I can edit, delete values and add additional values to any of those databases using this interface. So if I do this, uh, a practical example of this now, so if we come into the rule uh, for this screw, if I come and edit the size values and what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn on the, uh, the hexagon within the interface automatically so I don't have to select it when I uh, insert the element. So if I save those changes to the database, I can then close the interface. If I come to the standard elements interface now and enter the screw for the database I've just updated, select the elements as I normally do, select a size, and you'll see so we have modified the spot face, oh, wrong value, change it. We'll just move the head up. You can see the hexagon has automatically now been turned on. Now that completes the enhancements for the 2016 R1 release. Thanks for watching.